In this introductory video, we give an overview of the general structure of the OpenBot framework and introduce its main components. The OpenBot framework essentially consists of four distinct modules, namely a smartphone application, an interface firmware, a set of tele-operation softwares and a training pipeline used to generate control policies. The smartphone application enables the execution of neural control policies on a wide variety of vehicles, as well as the collection of suitable training data. The firmware acts as the robot's spinal cord by bridging the smartphone with the different actuators and sensors available on the platform. It is executed on a dedicated board containing a microcontroller. OpenBot is an open source project, therefore the whole source code as well as the different vehicle's electromechanical designs are made available to the community for free in the form of a Git repository. Git is a powerful code versioning tool that allows seamless collaboration between multiple developers working on the same project. The structure of the Git repository reflects the different components of the OpenBot framework. The smartphone application, the firmware, the control interfaces and the machine learning pipeline are organized in four dedicated folders, completed by a body directory containing the electromechanical design files of the different robots. To copy the content of the OpenBot Git repository on your computer, you can either download it as a zip file or use the git clone command with the repository address. Although the use of Git is not mandatory to get started with the OpenBot framework, it nevertheless becomes essential as soon as you want to start contributing to the project, or more generally, when you want to rapidly switch between different versions of your code without having to manually manage the configuration of your repository. We therefore strongly advise you to familiarize yourself with its use via one of the many tutorials available on YouTube. Let's now take a closer look at the actual content of the core folders of the OpenBot Git repository. As mentioned earlier, the Android directory essentially contains the code of the core application running on the robot, stored in the app folder, along with the code of an auxiliary application, located in the control subdirectory, allowing to remotely control the robot with another Android smartphone, as demonstrated in the teaser video. Note that each folder contains a complete documentation in the markdown format for a fast and easy start. Feel free to check the documentation of the main robot application, in the app folder, to familiarize yourself with the different operating modes of the platform. The firmware folder contains the code running on the robot's interface board. This code is fully compatible with the Arduino framework and currently supports the Arduino Nano as well as the ESP32 development boards. Flashing the firmware on a new vehicle requires a set of minor code modifications to account for the different number and kind of sensors and actuators of the platform. We provide a set of dedicated customization variables to support this process. More details can be found in the firmware documentation. The controller folder contains a set of software applications which allow controlling an OpenBot agent from a remote computer via Wi-Fi. Two different interfaces are made available to the user, namely a Node.js interface and a Python interface. OpenBot currently comes with an imitation learning pipeline matching egocentric visual observations and high-level commands with the low-level control orders sent to the vehicle. The learning process can be executed via a web interface, a Jupyter notebook, or for greater flexibility, via a set of dedicated Python scripts contained in the OpenBot directory. The different robot bodies designed and tested by us are made available to the community in the body folder. For each vehicle, we provide a full set of CAD design files, PCB design files, a comprehensive bill of materials as well as detailed assembly instructions. Feel free to further explore the repository, check the different vehicle designs and let us know which one you prefer on our Slack channel or as a comment to this video.